Hi everyone, welcome back to Storytime. I have a few things I wanted to mention. Um, with Halloween coming up, we're going to have a few fun things to do um, online and around here. So first of all, we're having a online, not really a contest, just something fun um, to go online and put on your favorite scary story. This one might be more for your bigger brother or sister or your parents. If you have any ghost stories or scary stories, just share them with us on our Facebook page and we're giving away a prize for that. And then uh, from the 29th to the 31st, we're going to be having a spooky uh, story stroll. So just like we had our kids story strolls in the park, we're going to have a spooky story stroll at the library but it's gonna be outside of the building. So you're gonna walk around the outside of the building while reading the story. And it's gonna be Ghost Stories of Saskatchewan. Just a little something fun to do for Halloween. Um, and we also have another online uh, thing to enter for the kids um, to let us know what they're gonna dress up as for Halloween. We know parents don't like to share too many pictures online, but if you can just tell us what they're gonna be uh, with their name and age, then we'll put their name in for a fun Halloween draw. Um, and we're also going to be having a Halloween craft. I'll post that one next week and you can pick up the craft supplies at the library. So we'll have that going out next week. As far as the, uh, scary stories, you can do that right now. That's online at the moment. So you can go and do that. And you can also go on and let us know about, uh, the costumes. That one's online. So, um, next week we're going to have a special Halloween story time. But for today, we're going to be talking about hugs. How many of you miss hugs? We're not allowed to hug right now, right? We're, we can hug our family or maybe our extended family. But we can't hug our friends, really. And we can't hug, say, a teacher or something. We just can't hug. And it's kind of sad. I miss hugs. I love hugs. So anyway, I thought we'd do some books about hugs. So this one is called How Many Hugs. And can you see who's on the front? Look, at that's an octopus. Did you see how many legs does an octopus have? They have eight legs. So you get an eight-legged hug from an octopus. That'd be a pretty good hug. Okay. Snakes, since snakes have no arms, nor any feet, they can slither about very discreet. But this lack of appendage sure would make an awkward affair of a hug from a snake. Yeah, they might not be able to hug too well. Clams have a foot to push through the sand, but not even not enough leg on which to stand. A hug from a clam would be more like a pinch from their little hard shells opened up an inch. You see their eyes in there? Would you like a hug from that? It might be a pinch. I don't think I'd like that hug. Giving nice hugs takes two legs or two arms to wrap up a loved one all snuggly warm. So if each pair of arms can give a nice hug, how many hugs would you get from a bug? Hmm, I wonder. What, are, what else do we have giving hugs here? There's a bird giving a hug. And an otter. Isn't that cute? Look at that otter giving a hug to his baby. That's a cute one. Let's see about bugs. A bug has six arms, so baby bug gets three. Three hugs. Three sweet hugs from its bug daddy. Eight-legged critters, known as arachnids, Give four excellent embraces to their eight-legged kids. Look at those spiders. Look at all the eyes on that spider. My goodness. Scorpions, spiders, ticks, and mites wrap up their wee ones in four squeezy delights. And down in the ocean, an octopus waits to wrap up a loved one in two, four, which is eight. That eight, that's eight arms like a spider. But here it gets odd. An octopus is not an arachnid. Arachnid, it's a cephalopod. Wow, that's a new word. Look at that big hug from an octopus. Horseshoe crabs have 12 arms, six on each side. 
That's six grasping appendages to open up wide. Even better, a giant isopod has 14. That's seven and seven to step in between. The bad ones, lots of arms to give hugs. Don't be fooled by the shrimp shrimpy name. Those little sea creatures give great hugs all the same. With 20 arms, their hugs are a 10. That's 10 times the hugs. Time and again. Would you like a hug from that little critter there? I'm not so sure I'd like that one. Shrimps. What do we have here? Think we're done? It's not time to settle. Not till we've hugged the lovely sea nettle. With 28 arms, this jellyfish is bold when it wraps its lovely in a 14 hug hold. Look at those legs. Wow, that's a lot to hug. The sunflower sea star can give 20 embraces with up to 40 legs. It drapes over places. That's another big hug. My goodness, it's getting bigger all the time. While Nautilus, a small secretive squid that lives in a chamber where she likes to stay hid, comes out for a squeeze from her 90 long tentacles. That's 45 hugs, each one identical. Look at that. Centipede, those crawliest bugs, have 300 legs for giving out hugs. That's 150 on one side to grasp and 150 on the other side to clasp. That would be a big hug, wouldn't it? Comparatively speaking, that isn't so nifty because her millipede cousin has 750. That's 375 squinches and scrunches from millipede mamas that love babies bunches. My goodness, I didn't even know something like that existed. So how many hugs could I give to you? I only have two arms. You know that it's true. Here's a hug for each bird in the sky and fish in the sea, all the critters on the earth and bugs in the trees. If you and all those up, if you add all those up, it's over a billion. But each hug from you is one in a million. And that's that. So who would you think you would want to hug out of here? Would you want to hug that bug with so many arms and legs? I think I'll pass on that one. I think I would hug the otter. He was a cute one. Yep. Or I'd hug you. All right. Now let's see. What should we sing? Let's get out two fingers. Ready? Two little blackbirds sitting on a wall. One named Peter, one named Paul. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter, come back, Paul. Now we're going to fly them up to a, anyone remember? A cloud, right? Two little blackbirds sitting on a cloud. One named Saul. The other named Loud. Fly away soft. Fly away loud. Come back soft. Come back loud. Good job, everybody. All right, this is another favorite of mine. This is a good one. How do you hug a porcupine? Porcupines are really quilly, right? Yeah. I don't know if I could hug a porcupine. That might hurt. Let's see. A cow with arms around her neck. That's how. Yep, that's how you'd hug a cow. A dog or cat is not so hard. Just hug them in your own backyard. I hug my cat every day. That's somebody else I can hug. You can hug your pets. Hugging bunnies is just divine. Yep, that would be fun too. Look at all these bunnies. That's a lot of hugs she's got there. But how do you hug 
a porcupine. Can you hug some billy goats? Entice them with a bag of oats. Sure you can hug some goats. And surely you can hug a pig. Just spread your arms out extra big. With baby chicks, be sweet, be kind. Sure you can hug all those things. But how do you hug a porcupine? Poor porcupine probably doesn't get too many hugs. This prickly fellow won't be easy. My stomach is feeling kind of queasy. He wears a coat of thorny quills. To hug this one will take some skills. What is going to come up with? A hedgehog is a little prickly. An ostrich is a little tricky. They're pretty tall. A chimpanzee will hug you back. I've never tried to hug a yak. A giraffe requires quite a climb. You have to get a ladder to get up there to give a hug. But how do you hug a porcupine? An elephant, please hug his trunk. I wouldn't want to hug a skunk. Would you dare hugging a skunk? No, P-U, stinky. A kangaroo, just hop, just hop this way. Don't let the dolphins slip away. A panda probably wouldn't mind, but how do you hug a porcupine? You must go slowly, never hurry. Porcupines aren't soft and furry. His quills defend him from his foes, but I'm his friend. He surely knows. Do you think he knows he's his friend and he won't throw his quills out at him? Oh, I missed that. Look what he put on him. Can you see that up close? He put marshmallows on the quills. Do you think that'll work? That might work. He won't get poked. Let's see. At last, hooray, it's finally time. This is how you hug a porcupine. Looks like he lost all his marshmallows already. How's that hug gonna work? Oh, carefully. See, look at the porcupine must know he's his friend. He put his quills down and he's giving him a hug. Yeah, porcupines deserve a hug too. All right, we have one more quick story. This one's called The Hug Machine. And this little guy really likes to hug. Whoa, here I come. I am the hug machine. I am very good at hugging, the best at hugging. No one can resist my unbelievable hugging. I am the hug machine. Looks like he's hugging his big sister there. She doesn't look too happy, does she? No, big sisters don't want hugs from their little brothers. My hugs calm people down. They cheer people up. They make them completely nuts. I am the hug machine. He's just hugging everyone. I hug everything I see. He's even hugging a fire hydrant and a bench and a mailbox. No one escapes the hug machine, not even a tree. My hugs make the biggest feel small. The smallest feel big. Got a turtle in that one. I hug soft things hard things, square things, and long things. I am the hug machine. What all is he hugging here? It's a sheep and a rock, an ice cream truck, and I don't know. It's an awfully big snake if that's supposed to be a snake. 
Eek, I don't like snakes. Oh, do you need a hug? There's a baby crying. I think you do. Hug accomplished. There's nothing the hug machine will not hug. Whoa, what about me? I'm so prickly. No one ever hugs me. I think that's a porcupine like in our last book. He just looks a little different in this one. They're missing out, he says. Oh, look, he got all dressed up. He looks like he's wearing a mask and a gloves. Just to be careful not to get poked. What about me? Surely I'm too big to hug. Wow, that's a whale, isn't it? How's he gonna hug that? Of course not. Not for the hug machine. What'd he do? Climbed up and he slid down his tail and off. He gave him hugs all the way. People often ask what the hug machine eats to keep him keep the hugging energy high. Well, the answer is pizza. The hug machine likes pizza very much. Refueled and ready for action. Hug, 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 hug. He's hugging everybody in town. He's going down every street. Hug. Phew, what a tiring day of hugging. This hug machine is exhausted. Hug machine can hug no more. Did you see a set of hands there? Looks like someone's coming in for a hug. Oh, why yes, you may hug the hug machine. Hug machine is always open for business. I think he's hugging his mom now. He had a busy day of hugging, didn't he? Well, you can go and give your parents a hug or maybe your grandma or grandpa or your sister or brother, but we can't go hugging everybody on the street, unfortunately. Anyway, we'll see you again next week. Halloween week. Bye-bye.